I believe I saw one. If you come here to the flight plans. Yeah. No, that's any current to WJF. But still. I thought you did one from Toronto to. What we could do is just look at this and say, you know what? Let's do from here to. Yeah, that won't. That won't even help us. That won't help well, us. Why don't you do the one from there to. Uh, load the one from there to where you're at, Torrance. Oh, and then I'll get us. That's a great point. That's You're right. a thinking man. So me, so how, how do I get to this? Okay. Let me let me do that. Yeah. Me. So there we go. There we go. Fly plan. Okay. Big knob. Go to the right until you get to FPL flight plan. Oh, okay. Small knob. Go down to flight plan catalog, and then highlight. Okay. And then right there you can highlight. Enter. Activate. That's it. Easy. Yeah. Good. And then you know how to invert a flight plan, right? Menu. Big knob, scroll down to invert flight plan, and we'll oh. do the same thing backwards. So from Torrance to Trona as oh, opposed okay. to Trona to Torrance. Okay. Make sense? Yep. Cool. Okay. Clear. Flight plan button. Big knob all the way up. Solid. Boom, that's there. Good, and we're going to 6.5. Good. Okay, we're going to 6500. Okay. Toronto's is loaded in there. Uh huh. Dang, Adis is on there. Oh my god. Okay, lights are on, trims set. Trims are set. Okay, we're ready. Good stuff. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. <laughs> Here we go. Toronto Jacket, white Cessna, back taxi in runway 17, Toronto. Torona. 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 Not a cloud in the sky. Check to the right, make sure we're good. Check to the left. Make sure we're good there. What'd you do for the holiday, man? You just hung out? You know what? I uh, I actually, no, I flew. I saw some fireworks. Oh, really? Yeah. It was crazy. You know what? It was, it was like being at a stadium. You know the, all the camera flashes? Right. Every second, all over L.A. It was insane how many fire uh, firecrackers they had. Yeah. Fireworks. Absolutely crazy. Thousands of them. Wow. Thousands. The entire L.A. area. One after the other. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, you don't have to come up and go jet skiing with us next time we go. Man. Oh, heck yeah. That's me. Oh. I love jet skiing. I remember, though, I've done jet skiing once in Florida. My hands hurt because it, you hold on to it. It's Lone Pine, right? So there's an airport right there. Easy. Okay, we got right cornering tailwind. There we go. Oh, the wind shifted. Okay. Down and away, good, solid. Okay, pre takeoff, kill sluggers on both, trims are set, cat flaps are open, props forward, we'll rev it up a little bit, get the mixture all the way forward. Uh, flaps, flaps are 10. 10, the lights are all on. Good, solid, good work. Turn traffic, white Cessna taking runway 17. Trump. Straight out departure. Huh? Straight out departure. Uh, straight out departure, just off. Good. Okay. Part of your calls at non-towered airport is also telling them what you are going to do. Left close traffic, straight out departure, right down departure. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The thing about non-towered airports is you tell people everything you're doing because there's no controller to whom you relay that information who thereby can control everyone else. Does that make sense? Yep. Good, good, good. Solid. Good. Okay. Let's do it. Ready. 
with the power. Five. Yeah, we're up. Eighty nine. There we are. We could make a call when you get a chance. Say on the upwind one seven straight out departure. Yeah. Toronto traffic lights up the upwind runway one seven straight out departure. Toronto. Good. Solid. Solid work. Hot today, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Up at altitude, it cools down, but until you get yeah, there, yeah, we it's definitely like... get somewhere where it's cool. Oh yeah. Nice and cool. So the green dot is where we're headed, right? Correct. That's where the plane is moving to if everything stays the same. Right. Meaning, if the wind stays the same, if your hands stay the same, uh -huh. if the pitch stays the same, if everything remains. That's where we're moving towards. Okay. Does that make sense? We're pitched up there. We're moving there. Right. Good. Because of the wind, we're moving there. Good stuff. Good work. Uh -huh. What is angle of attack, Robbie? How would you explain angle of attack to a four and a half year old? Um. Angle of attack is. To the relative wind, is your wing to the relative wind? The... Angle of attack is the angle between what two things. So every angle in the world, you have to have... Between the cord line and the... And the, um, the relative wind and the cord line of the... Cord line of the relative wind, right? So what's yeah. an easier way to tell that to a four-year-old? The angle of attack is the angle between the direction we are point, Tra pointing, pointing in uh -huh. and the direction we are moving in. Right. Here's the wing, right? Uh huh. So we're pointing there, but we're moving there. We're moving in that direction. This angle between the two is the angle of attack. Make sense? If that is true, which it is, is our angle of attack always higher during a climb than it is straight and level flight? Oh, of course. Is it of course? What? It's always higher than what? When you're done, I'll keep talking. Yeah. I want to make sure that you're with me. Okay. All right, go ahead. Angle of attack is the angle between our pointing and our moving. So in a climb, if you have a lot of power, okay. in a climb, if you have a lot of power, could your pointing and moving be close together? Wait, wait a minute, say it again? Go ahead, do your thing. Once you engage autopilot, we'll keep talking about it. Okay. I want to make sure you're focused. Uh, direct enter enter again, right? So we'll do the direct enter enter last thing before we engage autopilot. Right now, set up your scoreboard. Your scoreboard is only half set up. Okay, GPS, flight level change. Just cruise climb, 95. It's hot. Okay. Now direct enter enter. Uh, now autopilot. Good. Make sense? Yeah. Good. Plane's doing what we think it should do. Yeah, going back on track. There we go. So, angle of attack is the angle between our pointing and our moving, right? So when a plane climbs, does that necessarily mean that it, its angle of attack is high? Does a climb have anything to do with angle of attack? Well, you'd think so, because you're pitched You think more. because the plane yeah, is pitched up, yeah, but where's the up. plane moving? Up. 
good. So our pointing and our moving in the same direction. are close to together. Oh, it's when you're going down. So let's think of it for a second. If I'm flying fast at cruise, yeah. is my pointing and moving close to each other? Yes. Good. Is my angle of attack therefore lower? Yeah. Good. Now in a climb, when I'm climbing with a lot of power, oh, lot could of my power. pointing and moving be close to each other? Yeah. I'm pointing up and I'm moving up. Right. Could it be the same distance from each other like I am when going at cruise? Yeah. Right. So my angle Depending of attack. Power. Good. Good. So my angle of attack has nothing to do with climb. Does that make sense? Because in a climb, my pointing and my moving could be equally distant from each other as they are in cruise when I'm flying fast. Yeah, but what if you have full power and you're pitch at a 25 degree angle and you get no more wind? Well, that's when you start distancing the pointing from the moving. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking oh, okay, about a yeah, generic yeah, you're, you're climb. You're pointing, but you're not moving. You're pointing up, but you're Thousand also moving up. Thousand go. Does yeah, that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I got you. So, angle of attack, keep that in mind. A climb does not mean you're at a high angle of attack. Okay. A spaceship that goes vertically up and points vertically up, what's their angle of attack? Zero. Zero. They're pointing and moving in the same direction. Yeah. Does that make sense? Right. Good. Solid. Good work. Good stuff. We're turning. All right. Good work. Water just there, 400, boom. Yeah, I'm glad we went down to a cruise climb. The what? So I'm glad we went to a cruise climb. Oh, yeah. There we are, look at that. Beautiful. Solid. Welcome back to an airplane. Yeah, man. <laughs> Good. I'm oh, fine. yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to an airplane. That's a left draft, huh? Oh, yeah. There we go. Solid. Good, so angle of attack and climbs have nothing to do with each other. It all depends on your power, right? Yeah. Good. A given amount of power at a given pitch attitude produces a given amount of climb rate or descent rate or maintaining your altitude. Good. Oh yeah. Well, it's actually not too bumpy coming in. It was a little bumpy here. That's pretty much it. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and pick up flight following okay. for the exercise more than anything. Just gonna slow down a little bit. Oh, there it is. What's Joshua? Yeah, we got it now. So are we in this area or are we at this area? Let's do this. Click on in your card. 
and then scroll. Joshua approach. See that? One, three, five, six, five. Perfect. So if you ever need to figure out an approach frequency for the area you're in, yeah. just click on an airport in your area and look up approach frequency under that airport. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that will get you close enough to figuring out who to contact where you're at. Easy. There you go. So we're at. one Roger, radar service terminated. Change to low level frequency approved. Raider one. Pico 2-1, your radar contact 20 miles east of uh, Lake Isabella. And what area are you working? Pico 2-1, you're clear. Poncho 3, all altitudes. Poncho 3, all That must be military. Eagle 1. Ready? Pico 2-1, over flight of 25 is approved at or above 1 0, Joshua Approach, Stationary 1215, Golf. Make one, Roger, clear, stage two, channel, late call, Cemetery 2995. I, have I, would, I, would, I would wait, I think he's still talking with someone who we can't hear, because it's a different frequency. And who is the other aircraft calling? There you go. Uh, stationary 1215, Golf. Number 1215, Golf, go ahead. Uh, we're 10 miles to the east of uh, Intercurrent. Airport looking for flight following to uh, Fox Field, uh, level at 6,500. November 1215, Golf Fox 0413. 0413. 1215, Golf. 1215, Golf. 413. And you don't have to rush to repeat the 0413. You could plug it in and then repeat it back. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. No rush with all that. And now he'll say radar contact 10 to the east of whatever, and then he'll make sure that where he sees you is actually the place you're at. Does that make sense, Robbie? Yes. Good. Holy shit, we got a hell of a down there. Could we set up on frequencies for Fox? Yep. Or did we already do that? I did, but I changed it when I went to Fox. And then ATIS and ground, we got that in? I got ATIS there already. Let's get ground in, just in case, on the standby of COM2. Winder 4-1, radar service terminated, contact tenant and control 336.45. Indian 1 1 radar service terminated, squad gate 4 and frequency change approved. Good, good. but that's solid. Uh, Indian 1 1, if you can hear me, the transmitter radar service terminated, squad gate 4 and frequency change approved. Acknowledge with ident, please. Acknowledge with ident. He, he didn't come back and say position. He didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he didn't say radar contact. Uh, what's the weather doing at Fox? How could you load that up and see what's happening? But well, we're not fuck yet, but we need to, so... Uh, Good, we don't... Yeah, we, we, we don't have that under the destination. Yeah. Good. So, to well, change that... You could even leave that. Hit flight plan again. Big... Go all the way to the left with the... Good. Big knob now, go to the right, to airport page, right there. Okay. Highlight. And now, with the small knob, put KWJF. Squawk zero four zero three in order. Good. Enter. Good. Now WX. Press that. There you go. Came out forty six minutes ago. And what's the? Well, what are things looking like? Uh, it's coming from 
230. Good. So looking at the runways, what runway do you think will be in use? 24. There you go. So we could plan on that, right? Yeah. We haven't yet been told anything because we're not talking with tower, but we could plan on that. You can see the temperature, 35, dew point minus 2, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 9 or. And so... Um, Big one, you ready? Contact 15 miles northwest of Heine's air request. Big one approved as requested, 10 LA call, altimeter 2995, say on Stu. Damn it, nasty outside, huh? The what? Yeah, the winds. Okay, Heine. contact LA center on 377.1, good day. So, 24. So let's get out of that and go back to the, um, nope, press it again, and then go left all the good. Good. November 467, Sierra Golf, Josh Approach. Good afternoon. Uh, so can we get you are cleared, Isabella. I can't, I can't hear you. What? So, go to this one, enter that 120, put our destination, delete those other flight plans in there, or what? Can we do what again? Delete the... Delete the flight plan? Well, yeah. Yeah. Let's go, so put it in heading mode. Yeah, perfect. Heading mode, sync, good. Heading. Heading. Okay. Good. Now and then you can go, go flight plan, menu, uh, delete flight plan. Uh, good. And you can even load a straight in uh, vector, yeah. a straight in for uh, runway 24. Okay. Direct, so direct, KWJF. Uh, or an easy way to do it is just do nearest, it's already up there. Direct enter, enter. 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 Good. And then you could do procedures. Select approach. Okay. And then visual 2-4. Straight. Activate. Okay. Flight plan. Good. So now, this is fine. It's taking us from us to the straight waypoint. Right. But we're not turning into the restricted because we're in heading mode. So when we get clear of that, we could just do direct enter, enter again, then do nav, and it'll take us to the straight way. Yeah, Easy? Yeah. Good. Solid. Two good work. Nine or five. Cleared phase two. Good afternoon. Is there any way I could load up a... Oh, is there any way... Oh, I can load you. Load up a what? Oh, it did. Uh, oh, I know. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Enter. Nope. Right. Yep. Perfect. Enter. Activate. Good. Now we go. I think the heading. Nope. There. Forget the heading. Just go and have. Okay. Heading doesn't apply to us now that we're doing direct to a waypoint. Make now sense? Should, yeah. Now we should turn a little bit. Solid. Good. Take the flight plan away. Good zoom out, make sure it's actually going from here to Fox. Yeah. It's going from here to no. the waypoint of the straight waypoint. It's going to a waypoint of sorts. Yeah, okay, so you got a waypoint here, not Fox. Seven, Golf, you, were headed to, uh, you have it over there, a waypoint. That's weird. Which is fine. Uh, but now you can't do procedures, load approach. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what I would do in that case is just leave it how we had it. Okay. Does that make sense? Because yeah. you know the area. We're just tracking heading all the way to there and then do direct enter, enter, and then go to nav. Okay. It won't kill us. We don't always have to be on GPS mode. Okay. Easy? Yeah. Great learning. Solid. Good stuff. So how would you fix this? How would you actually make the destination box? So you can go here. I would go here to scroll down. Good. Go here. KWJF. Oh, shit. Venom 01, Squawk 0424, in order. Direct enter, enter. Oh, now there you go. Enter, enter. Enter. Runway. Yep, enter. Forget a runway, yep. And then flight plan. Good, now procedures. Actually, before you do that, 
Let's go ahead and remove USR 181. Delete that. There's an easier way to do that. Just hit clear. Good. There you go. Hit play plan. Good. Good. Procedures. Nope. No, no, no. Big knob all the way to the left. Good. Procedures. Left approach. MIG 1, changing my frequency. Visual 2 4. Straight. Activate. Enter. Flight plan. Good. So now the plane will turn. We don't want to do that, so we'll. What will you do to react to that? Uh, okay. loud and clear. Thank you. Uh, sink uh, and uh, heading. Good. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. Why is it doing that? Because you, we did. So we activated Number the straight waypoint. Oh, okay. South of Channel Lake Airport. Position checks all pass off. Because we put the straight in waypoint. So remember, activating a straight, activating an approach, the straight waypoint oh, makes a pink line, line between us and right then, okay. the waypoint. Yeah, one, so we down. turned to it. We were in GPS mode. Okay. So you reacted good. We sink the heading. Go to heading. Make sense? Good. And then once we're clear of the restricted, then we go direct in we're good to go. Correct. Now for the heck of it, for the practice purposes, ask, get on with them and ask, see if we are, if we are able to fly through two five, restricted 2515. Worst thing that'll happen is they'll say no. Okay. And in that case, we could go straight to our straight yeah, waypoint. Yeah. Easy? Yeah. Good. Let's get on with them and say, approach station air 1215 golf. Are we able to uh, fly through restricted 2515? Okay. Good. Joshua, approach station air 1215 golf. You don't have to cold call, just ask the whole thing, because you're already on with it. 1215 golf, Joshua. I was curious if we could fly through uh, the restricted 2515 direct to uh, Fox. Negative, sir, it's active. Roger. Roger. What's the only time you have to cold call? On the initial call. You're already on with him right now, and if you ever want anything, just get on with him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because when you come to him, part of him is expecting the possibility of you coming to him with stuff because you're part of his traffic that he's controlling. Roger. Make sense? Yeah. Good stuff. Good. So there you go. He told us now. Huh? Huh? No. <laughs> Easy schmazoo. Okay. Take me all out. Close it down a little bit. There you go. Gain some knots. Yeah. Gain some knots. Uh. Good work. Absolutely solid. Oh, look at you. Look at this. Yeah. Get some. Oh, it's a dark chocolate. I've never seen this one. How was your holiday? Big one, the traffic between you and Point Alpha, Red Service Terminator, change the level of route. Were you at the lake? Yeah. yeah. Fireworks there? No, it wasn't the fireworks. Nothing, huh? Uh, we just did a lot of jet skiing. Right jet skiing? Oh, man. I love it. Kids love it. Jet skis are fun. Uh, who called? Okay, we're heading, we're going. I have to turn my volume up a little bit. You got two, two, Josh, go ahead. There we go. You got two, two, Roger, stand by handoff support. Is it pretty windy downtown? Not really. Um, Not really. Nice day down there. Dog zero one under contact loss. Razor one, I haven't picked you up on radar quite yet. I'll let you know when I do. Saline should be uh, primarily open though. Two three zero one five gust two one. November four six seven Sierra Golf radar service terminated contact so four. Factory, what is that, seven? It's a gust factor. Uh, uh, six. Uh, that's three miles. Yep.
Chico 2-2, two, two, radar service terminated, contact support. Wow, this does taste like dark chocolate. That's crazy. Very good. It's fine, man. Better do. Crazy. You want to stop and get some lunch at Fox or what? Let's see, you hungry? You can eat some? Let's do it. Something light. Uh, they're working in Southern Saline. Could do direct enter, enter. Straight. Direct enter, enter, huh? Yeah, that's the next waypoint. All you're doing is Please making a peak line from us to the waypoint. Pioneer 480. So, I'm going to just check something real quick. Uh huh. Straight. Here's the one you read our contact. Yeah, 27. It automatically populates the top of descent. Okay. So, in our case, we have time. Yeah, we've got time. We have time. Absolutely. Once we get here, we'll do direct enter enter again. It'll be clear one, yeah, of the restricted, and then we could switch to nav mode. Does that make sense? Yes. Good work. And to the altitude, dew point minus two, altimeters two nine or nine or eight. Visual approach and use landing departing runway two four. Five initial contact, you have information alpha. Information alpha. We'll check it again when I get a little closer. I believe it just came out about two minutes ago. Because the meter we just read is different than the one we read oh, it's 15 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But you can check it as many times as you want. You're the pilot. You make the decisions. Okay, as long as the Mojave's up to 4,800, so we'll get there. Yep. And you could do this again and again. Boom, boom, boom. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it just keeps showing you the top of decent, top of decent, top of decent. Top of decent, top of decent, top of decent. Easy? Yep. I want to show you another cool thing. Yeah. Flight plan, right over here, USR 180. Uh -huh. So right here, let's go ahead and put in KMHV. We'll see something cool. There we go, MHV. Boom, boom. There we go. And then we will delete this. Clear, boom. And then we'll go to boom, boom, boom. There we go. Oh, instead of a waypoint, you named it. So now, right here, I just want to show you something. So right here, we're going direct Mojave. And then Mojave, we're going direct to... Uh, from Mojave, we're going to Fox, right? Yeah. So I want to show you something. Let's say we're going to now, right? And we want to descend towards Fox. But we don't want to be under 4,500 at Mojave. So here's what we could do. We could do step downs with the VNAV, highlight Mojave, and put the altitude you want to be at, or, or no lower than over here. So right over here, we'll do, let's go with 5,000. Actually, let's go even 5,500, just to give you an idea. Okay. Enter, MSL, and then you come to Fox, you say, what altitude do you want to be at at Fox? Just for the example, let's say 4,300, Okay. right? So now we have that coming. So check this out, what it does. It populates a top of descent for Mojave and for us to begin to descend to Mo Mojave. In fact, I want to be, because I have more time than I thought, let's go to five, let's go to 40, what's Mojave up to 48? 48. So let's go 5,000. There we go, MSL. And now it shows us top of descent is right there. It will descend to not go under 5,000 until we reach. Uh, lower to four and yeah, engage VNAV though. Correct, yep, so let's engage VNAV. Floor is lowered, so now the plane will descend here, reach Mojave at 5,000, and then we'll continue descending down to Fox to reach Fox at 
43. But because 5,000 to 43 is only 700 feet, yeah. it won't begin to descend until really Way close to um, Fox. So because there's no pro uh, risk of the plane descending into the delta of Mojave, I want to show you what happens. When you do step downs with VNAV, once the plane reaches 5,000 and levels off and crosses Mojave, uh -huh. you don't need to do anything else with VNAV. It will automatically revert back to altitude hold mode and then automatically revert back to VPath when it's ready for the next stop of descent. Okay. So I want to show you what that looks like. So there we are. And the top of descent is one minute and three seconds from now. Vertical track. There we go. There's Mojave smack in front of us. Yeah. Easy schmazel. So how long until the website's done, you say? I don't know, still in the works. I don't wanna I'd rather take more time and be done right than Yeah, it's gonna be a hit man. I'm excited, I'm excited. yep. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Here comes our top of descent one. See that? Yeah. We're sliding down and we will cross Mojave at 5,000 oh, feet. Uh-huh. And then you'll see what happens. At Mojave, it will automatically revert back to altitude hold mode, even though our floor is lowered to 33. Right. Because we have a restriction at 5,000. You see that? For, on the waypoint. Correct. The and waypoint. then it will automatically generate a new top of descent to begin from 5,000 to 43. That's like uh, IFR training when you're coming into the... Step downs? Yeah. Yeah, similar. <laughs> what do you say? You, you need to push from the 210. Oh, yeah. Say. <laughs> Is he here? No, he's tracking us. Man. <laughs> Maybe we need a little hand. Uh, it's funny. That's funny. When's his plane ready? Does he know? I don't know. It should be soon, I would think. Damn. It's just an autopilot. Whoa. It's an autopilot. I feel like we're coming into uh, Monterey. The what? I feel like we're coming into Monterey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, we're oh, screaming. Boy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Look at that. 600 feet to go. And then you'll see at Mojave, when we reach 5,000, it will switch to altitude hold mode and it will generate a new type of descent. In fact, look at this. You could even see it on there already. Perfect. You see that? Oh yeah. So it's different step downs. Different step downs. Damn, that was solar out here. Lots of solar. That's all new, huh? I don't know. Lots of solar. Solara. Okay. Lots of jets at Mojave. Okay, so we're coming to Mojave. We can. Uh, so now you'll see what the plan will do. It will automatically trans, uh, go back to altitude hold mode at 5,000 feet and turn left for our GPS mode. Once we prove this point, we'll disregard the VNAV and just go ahead and activate the straight in approach. Okay. There we go. You see what it switched to? Altitude hold and look what it kept on standby. Okay. VPATH. Make sense? Yep. Good. Dogs one, Let's go ahead and do procedures. Select a pro uh, activate approach. Uh, that's it. I got a flight of two that's that are working kind of basically Good. north death and south death, and then a little. So now we're going to the straight waypoint. Uh, but other than that, that's another thing is open southern Panama. Yep. So you see the top of descent here for the straight waypoint. Right. Good. And we have V path in standby, and the floor is lowered. We're good to go. That's it. Look Easy. That. Yeah. Good. Let me listen on here. Five zero zero. When two trees are at one tree, gust two tree. Visibility one zero. Sky conditions are clear. Temperature three four. Check density altitude. Dew point minus two. Altimeter is two nine or nine or eight.
Visual approaching you, swinging departing runway 24. Five, initial contact, you have information Alpha. 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 Information Alpha, 20500. Wind 230 at 1 tree, gust 2 tree, visibility 10. Sky conditions are clear. Temperature uh, tree 4, check density altitude, dew point minus 2, altimeters 299 or 8. Visual approaching you, swinging departing runway 24. Five, initial contact, you have information Alpha. Alpha. Okay. Alpha. Information Alpha, 20500. Approach the one tree, tower, zero, right? one tree, gust the two tree, visibility 10. Sky tower. conditions are clear. Approach will tell us the contact tower eventually. But let's get on with the approach and say we have Alpha at Fox. Visual approaching you, swinging departing runway 24. Five, Traffic Northern, sailing 155 at Sierra Zsum. Joshua, approach uh, 1215 Golf at Alpha at uh, Fox. I believe I believe he was I'm talking with someone. Project. I believe he was talking with someone. Uh, Next time, you want to say something, let's listen to make sure there's no talking going on, and then we'll do that. Oakland, uh, multiple aircraft on the Good. Sidewinder, and uh, one F-35 working at flight level 370 and Owens. Other than that... Uh, F-35 at flight level 370. Wow. That. Nice and high. All right. Roger. Good, we can add some power. Good. Dog stuff. one, item, please. Okay. And as soon as he can, remember, what's our top priority when we approach our destination under VFR? Make sure you see the airport. See the airport, right? Go visual. Yeah. So the sooner you can go visual, your situational awareness goes Observe way out miles, the roof. Observe, verify one Good. zero miles northeast of the Independence Airport westbound. Good work. Dogs one, radar contact. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I just wanted to verify the position. Ten miles northeast of the uh, Independence Airport at one five thousand. It's getting hot in the summer. Oh, man. Man. Yeah, seen nothing yet. I bet Toronto in the winter is perfect. Oh, yeah. Best place. Perfect. Vampire 5 1, Joshua, the Edwards altimeter, T9906, Kurt Poncho 3, same tension. Vampire 5 1, same tension. We're 10 miles out, huh? We are 10 to the north. Yep, 10 to the north. Zero four four five. Top of descent is in how long, Robbie? Uh, November 154, Charlie Romeo, contact. Uh, no less approach, 119.35, 1935. Good. See ya. One minute? One minute, 50 seconds. Cool. Solid. Good. Good work. Number one two one five golf radar service terminated. Squat VFR, free change approved. Squat VFR, free change approved. One two one five golf. Good. Let's hit flight plan to get rid of that. Good. Or Let's go ahead and do VFR. Good. VFR. Let's switch frequencies. Tower. Good. Yeah. And let's get on with Fox and say Fox Tower Station Air one two one five golf ten to the north inbound full stop with Bravo. Bravo. Was it Bra Alpha. Alpha. I'm sorry. Fox Tower, stationary 1215 Golf. You don't have to cold call on Delta, just approach. Yep, all good, we'll get it. Vertical track. Stationary calling Fox Tower, second. Yep, we're uh, 10 miles to the north, inbound landing, uh, full stop, with information alpha. Okay, stationary north of the airport, in our right base, runway 24, and say again your call sign. Uh, 1215 Golf. Station Air 1215 Golf, thank you. Report two mile right base. Report two mile right base. Uh, 1215 Golf. Boom. Lots of good radio work today. Yeah. Good stuff. Solid. Great learning. Great learning. I'm right on the cusp of getting it. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> I ain't got it, but I'm on the cusp. Good. You got it. You got it. You see, you know, just need to get it out of you. It's in you. It's in you. It's like a hiccup. It's like a hiccup. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We're good, buddy. It's all good in the hood.
just expect little holding your hand in terms of radios for me today right. because I want to make sure that it's... Uh, yeah, turn the lights on. Uh, lights, cow are open. Uh, gas is on boom. I don't know, we'll wait till we get to the straight, then we'll start. Solid, good stuff. Good work. Where's the airport? Point at point to the airport. Cool, easy. Good stuff. Umar Bakivish, Reichem is through. I'm not sure. 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 Commander 4611 Whiskey, Fox Turn. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm uh, about uh, 10 miles north along the 14, looking to uh, come in full stop. Commander 11 Whiskey, enter right base runway 24 and I get. Enter right base 24, here's your flash. One Whiskey. Here's your flash. <laughs> Aye, they. Aye, they. Commander 11 Whiskey, thank you. I didn't observe. Number two, following traffic just ahead and to your left on the floor. So it looks like it didn't right capture that V path for the descent. Let's go to descent 500 feet a minute. And reduce power way down because it's bumpy. And let's actually go flight plan and go direct to the final waypoint because he wants us on a two mile right base. Direct enter, enter. Good, flight plan. Good, plane will turn. Perfect. Reduce power further. Good. What's the TPA here? 23 would be 3,300. So let's. Uh, so the airport is sits at 23. Yeah. Cool. All the way high. Yeah. Let's reduce power. Go from flaps. Uh, let's go flaps. Uh, you're good. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to right now. See the airport? Yeah. Cool. Can I talk two miles or. Uh, no, we're not a two mile right base. We'll be a two mile, we'll call two mile right base right over there. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't have to be exact. Stationary 15 Golf, runway 24, clear to land, wind 220 Clear to clear to land, runway 24, 1215 Golf. Alright, pop up so far. 461 with no joy on the uh, traffic. You want to call my no joy? Maybe we should c get the flash coming again. Just sure. turn southbound along the freeway. Turn your final over the um, over the freeway. Traffic's 12 o'clock and three and a half miles ahead of you. Alright, all right. let's reduce power. Let's put some flaps in. Take power all the way out. Good. First things first. If you're going like crazy, take power all the way out. Good. Now let's go flaps 10. Okay, Good. 140, um, Prop and mixture full forward. Alright, now we got a sample. Lights are on. Good. Solid. Oh shit. Hit the flight director. Good. There's the airport. And let's land flaps 20 because winds are gusty. I'm gonna put them in right now. Uh huh. Yeah. Good. And then we could even do procedures, activate vectors to final. Ooh, look at that. He's getting ready. It doesn't work, though. It's not on? Oh, there it is. Skip. Commander 1 1 Whiskey, traffic's turning final over the freeway. Runway 24, clear to land, wind 220 at 18. Is he talking about us? Clear to land, runway 24, so what? number 2. Four, six, okay. five, I'm not telling you anything about radios anymore today. So no, if you don't know, I, I, no, he was telling the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying if I if if you ask me a question, I don't answer. It's not because I hate you. It's because today we're learning how to do radios. Gotcha. Make sense? Oh yeah. Good. So if you need clarification, ask the controller. Less flaps, we have less parasitic drag, so just let the energy bleed. See how we need right rudder on touchdown? Good, 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 good. More right rudder. And keep the nose wheel off the ground. More right.
right rudder. More, 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 more. You felt that side load? Yeah. So we need a little more right rudder. Oh, we did too much right rudder. No, too little. We did too little right rudder, but you, did, you were afraid to do more because we were moving to the right, in which case we need right rudder, left aileron. Yeah. Easy? Yeah. Good. That's how we side loaded just a touch. Good work. Station one five Gulf State Tax Request. What do you say? Restaurant. Uh, we're headed to the restaurant. One two one five Gulf. System one five Gulf. Uh, taxi transit parking. This frequency. Transit. Uh, taxi transit parking. This frequency. One two one five Gulf. Good. He was he was saying say parking. Oh. Yep. Say parking. Good stuff. Good. So anytime you go rudder on touchdown and that's going to drift you off center line, go opposite aileron. To keep it. Correct. To keep it right directional control in the air is maintained with aileron. The rudder is just to keep us straight. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. I always had a tendency to go to the left. Now I'm going to the right. Hey. So we're no, we didn't go to the left. We were still pointing to the left today. Oh, you mean you went too much to the right. Oh, that's good. In terms of physically over the runway. Yes, that's well, true. Well, I put too much aileron in it. I you, mean, too, you, too much rudder in you it. No, you, here's what happened. You did not put enough rudder, but the reason we ended up to the right of center line is because you did not put enough left aileron. Does that make sense? To compensate for the aileron. Correct. So we needed more rudder and more left aileron. Okay. Good work. Solida. You can just go straight ahead, that phone right here. Perfection. Good. This is good right here. Shut down, parking brake set. Donald's idle. 